Hello friends, welcome to AutomationTalks.com uh, Myself Prakash Narkade and this is video 24 of this Selenium video tutorial series In this video I will talk about how to handle radio buttons in Selenium web drive that is how to select radio button in our Selenium test cases In my earlier videos I talked about uh, few basic uh, Selenium uh, points uh, uh, like inspecting the element x path css path then few basic things like how to uh, select element how to send text to text box how to handle drop down and today i'll talk about how to select a radio button in selenium web driver now radio button is a very basic uh, component of this uh, html page so i'll just show you uh, how radio buttons look so on demo webshop.tricentis.com you can see under registration you can see this gender male and female so this is what your radio box uh, sorry radio button looks like so how to handle this radio button now if you inspect on this uh, radio button okay then can you see uh, like there are two different x paths for this uh, what I can say radio button for male radio button this is the X path for fe uh, female radio button it's, it's under this div right so uh, there are two approaches how I can select a radio button first approach is get the CSS sorry get the uh, web element of uh, each of the uh, radio button and then click and the second approach is get it in the th uh, get it into the list Right, get it into the list then iterate over the list and then if if it is matching then click right so I'll just show you both the approaches uh, let me create one class A radio button and uh, let me copy the basic script to launch um, driver and navigate to demo web shop let me get from this let me create one class sorry method then I'll paste my code here which is used to set the chrome browser and then navigate uh, it to demo webshop dot 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 com and I want to navigate to register I'll navigate directly here instead of clicking on that button okay now I'll be navigated to this website now what I want I want to click on either on male button or on female radio button right now how I can do so I can get this male button X path so by using this right so what you can do is what we'll do is we'll find web element for both web element for R button of mister that is radio button of mister is equal to driver dot find element by x path and this is my x path uh, now I got the web element for mister uh, sorry uh, mail button now in the similar way I'll get it for female button I'll rename it as a male and this is female let me get x path for this female now this is x path for this female radio button right now how I can click on it it's a simple if if else what I can do is now let us say I want to select gender as a male string gender to be selected is equal to male 
let us say I want to select a male gender right now how I can do that if if gender to be selected is equal to male then then if gender sh is male then where I need to click I need to click on this web element right else else if gender to be selected is equal to female then I should click on this uh, web element right so this is this is very much simple that's it we're done uh, so what is I, I want to let us say I want to select male button so what will happen now it will check if gender to be selected that is male is equal to male if it is a male then it will click on this button if it is female then it will click on this button now I uh, since I have selected it as a male let me run this test case it should select at it as a male it is test test ng test let me quit a driver uh, let me wait for few seconds so that you can see now let us run the test case run it as a test ng test now can you see it has clicked on male right so that is how we can select if I if I write female over here it will select female by using uh, this if else loop so this is the uh, very straightforward uh, case how you can select a, uh, a radio button the second thing is uh, by using okay now this is done let me delete this let me delete this code fine now we'll talk about second approach by using list so if you observe this radio button you can see name as a gender right for this and for this female you can see name as a gender so for both radio button this name attribute is same for this uh, male as well it is gender for female as well it is gender so what we will do we will get it into the list of web elements and I'll name it as a list of gender gender list driver how I can get it in the list by using find elements by uh, name and name is gender right its name is G E N D E R G capital I hope no okay fine so now I got the web elements into the list import Java utils now what you can do is you can just check how many uh, web elements are there into the list what you can do is uh, number of radio buttons with name is equal to gender r gender list dot size that will give you the size of list what is happening
okay now by using this you, you, you can get the size gender list dot size where it was wrong okay I should give plus fine so now you have the list now what we'll do we will iterate over the list how we can iterate by using for loop or for each loop I've shown you for each loop in my previous video so here I'll just use simple for loop int i is equal to 0 i is less than gender list dot size how many times it should iterate it should iterate um, with number of web elements that is gender list dot size and I plus plus now now what we can do uh, we can get now you can if, if you observe this uh, uh, this uh, what I can say uh, HTML structure uh, DOM structure then you can see value as a M and sorry value is equal to M that is male and for female gender you can see value is equal to female right so let us let us get this value how I can get this uh, into the string string uh, gend is equal to how you can get gender list dot get i dot get attribute and what attribute I need to get I need to get the attribute as a uh, I guess value it should take it as a female let us check right now I have gender is this now okay let us first print this and uh, just check what do we get by this like you know, what gender do we get let us run this quickly and check <coughs> ok so we got m and f as a value so what we will do we will check if gender okay before this let us say I want to select let us say I want to select gender to be selected is equal to M let us say I want to select female now right so gender to be selected is F right so what we'll do gend dot get sorry gend is string okay gend dot equal ignore case and if it is gender to be selected then then what should happen it should click on gender list dot get i dot click right and if it has clicked then it should break because it will not look for next <coughs> right so what we're doing is we are uh, like gender to be selected I want to select gender female this is this is the thing which I got from my test data list something something somewhere then what I did is I got the gender list where uh, I find elements by name is equal to gender then what I'm doing is I'm iterating over the list with number of uh, like uh, on all the elements which are present in my list that is gender list dot size and then <coughs> what I'm doing is if gender that is uh, where it is okay the string which uh, which I got from this attribute value from the gender list is equal to the gender which I want to select then it will click on this if it has clicked then it will break the loop uh, let us run this time I have selected female let us check if it works <sighs> Uh, 
now can you see it has clicked on female like by, by default none, none was clicked but uh, after running the script it has clicked on female right so that is how we can uh, select the radio button uh, I, I, either by using the web element of both or by getting it into the list right so by getting into the list this is the more popular approach uh, this is again a pretty simple uh, okay so that's it I have for this how to handle radio button in selenium web driver for more uh, videos and articles keep referring my blog automationtalks.com I have the same article under selenium tutorial selenium web driver and how to handle radio buttons in selenium web driver you can find a code for both what like what I have shown you okay so that's it I have thanks for watching to subscribe to my video channel thanks